Good evening. <laughs> Hello, I can hear you. It sounds mute. Yeah. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yep. All right. Uh, really, really low. Really? Yep. That's, yeah, that's, that's weird. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure if this is working. Hey, Eric. All right. Uh, yeah, it is really, really close. You're right about that. Let me see what's going on. All right, can you hear me better now? Yes, All right. way better. All right, does it sound <laughs> normal now? Yeah. Or is it better now? <laughs> no, right. now sounds like robotic. Okay, all right, right now it's good, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, <laughs> great. All right, guys, nice to see you. Uh, thank you, Sandra, for being early. Imer, thank you for being okay. early. Uh, Eric, nice to see you again. How are you guys? How was? How do you feel the the the, uh, the midterm? Yeah, kind of confused. Tell us kind one of, of the exercises. Yeah. All right, don't worry, guys. We're gonna go over the midterm right now. So I'm sorry for people for the people who are not here. All right. Guys, I do take my time at the beginning, you know, to um, to allow you know to 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 talk. However, that doesn't mean that you have to come late, okay? Yeah. All right. So please be early. All right. Um, Hello Marina. there. Welcome back, Marina. Nice to see you. Hello, teacher. How are you? How was your weekend? <laughs> Everything good? Um, mm, not so good, but. Oh, well, why? Why is that? I was busy. Oh, it was busy? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to see something bad happen, but you're good. Okay, I'm glad. All right, guys, so we're going to go over the, the midterm right about now. Let me share my screen here. What's up, Eric? Uh, Emer, how are you? Good evening. You good? good evening. Yes, All I'm right. pretty good. <laughs> Great job. All right, guys, so let's go over the answers for the listening part. All right, Sandra, what do we got for the number one? Uh, vegetables and soup. Vegetables and soup. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. Eric, what do we have for number two? Teriyaki. Teriyaki, very good. Number three, Morena. Morena? Um, milk and cereal. Okay, very good. Uh, Emer, number four. Let me, it's loading. Load, loading. How do you pronounce that? Oh, it's loading. Okay, very good. Loading. Okay, uh, Sandra. And number four. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, British. British. Okay, good job. British. All right, number one from part two, Sandra. His train was delayed. Uh, his train was delayed. Very good. Okay, uh, Eric, number two. Uh, meeting with his advisor. Meeting with his advisor. Very good. Morena, number three. Number three, 
an essay for this application. An essay for these applications. For these, they should say for these, yes, not for, for, for this. this application. Uh, the woman suggests that Carl. Now there should be an S here. There's another mistake there. Because that's the third person. But anyways. All right. Uh, Sandra. Sweet appointments with someone. Switch appointments with someone. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, guys. Remember to turn on your cameras, guys. Claudia, welcome back. All right, number, um, well, let's go over this one. I guess this one is the one you have more issues with, right? Yeah. All right, very good. What do we have for number one? You know what? Hold on. Does everybody have this section, this part correct? Yes? No, me. The part no, me. one, yes. Okay, all right. Sandra, let's go. Okay. Well, unlike people in France, comma, mm -hmm. Japanese people generally study American English. Okay, American English. Okay, very good. All right, we went over this one before, but unlike, hold on. All right, very good, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Sandra. Eric, what do we have for number two? Um, it is wrong in my case. Okay. All right. Tell me what you have, and then we're gonna go over it. Okay. Just let me go this way. Well, what I what I wrote is. You know what? Well, do me do me a favor. Some Oh, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Eric. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just give me one second. Uh, Imer, did you finish mm -hmm. the, 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 the midterm? Yes, All I right. did. Since you're a gamer, I suppose you have a good internet connection. Um, so, <laughs> mind sharing your screen, please? Okay, let me check. All right. All right, very good. Oh, you got them all answered, but very good, okay. All right, guys, so here, guys, this is the one that we saw last week, guys. The problem here is there there are some of them, guys, okay. What was what was your answer, Eric? Well, I haven't really wrote it when you mentioned that email is going to share the, 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 his image, but what I did was, I guess, well, some people love online shopping. Some people have never shopped online. Okay, all right. So your answer is while some people what? Why some while people some love people love online online, online shopping. shopping. Uh, some people have never shopped online. Have never shopped, not shop, shopped. Shopped. Shopped online, yes. All right, very good. Uh, so, so you said this one is wrong. It's a typo, there. Yes. Oh no, no, no! But but, Emer, you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. So, but that's that's the right answer, Eric. Okay. If you want, Eric. Okay, let's see, Eric's. Okay, Eric, uh, would you would you be able to share your screen? Uh, no, if I do that, I guess I'm going to be stuck or... Oh, okay, right. Very good. Because but, the internet, it is not so good. But the answer, the answer, I don't know what you have wrong. I mean, I don't know what's what's wrong with your answer, but remember that there, there shouldn't be any extra spaces, okay? Okay. So it is literally like that. If there, if there is, you know, extra spaces, it will be taken as wrong, okay? Very good, okay? All right, okay. uh, so let's see which which other answer do we need help with here, guys, in this section. Sandra? Part two, part, part two, number two. Part two, number two, okay. Yeah. So the answer, how can people afford to buy homes in the city is beyond. So what, what happened there? I mean, that, that one doesn't have any mistake from the platform. So what was your answer, Sandra? Exactly the same. 
how people can afford to buy homes in this city is beyond me. Oh, okay, but there is a mistake with the platform. Because it should be how people can afford to buy. So you are right, uh, Sandra. The answer, guys, is the answer according to the platform is how can people how afford can. to buy homes in this city is beyond me, okay? Now, that yeah. is not your mistake, Sandra. You are absolutely correct, all right? That Thank is a you. mistake from the platform, okay? Very weird. All right, yes. Yay. But don't worry, it. okay? You, you understood, okay? All right, what else, guys? Which one? What else do we have that we need help with here? Claudia, hello, Claudia, are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? Are you working? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, yes, right, that's I, 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 was, I was working. But okay. teacher, right now, I, I haven't completed the platform yet. Oh, I, I know, what happened? Time. Yes. What happened? Ah, uh, uh, I was tired in, in in several tasks. Okay. In my work. Mm -hmm. if, you miss, but, if you miss these questions, uh, you will need to rewatch the class on YouTube, okay? Just okay. be aware of that. All right, very good. But thank you, Claudia, for letting me know. Um, all right, very good. So what else, guys? What else do we need help with here? Morena, you good here in this section? No, I have wrong. Which one? The third one, the second one. Then in the part two. The second one, all right. That, that's the one I, I sent you the yeah. answer here, Morena. I, it's in the chat, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Aside from that, do you have any other any other answer wrong? Morena? Mm, and the last one, the last part. The last one, number you mean number four? Yeah. What's what's your answer there? Um I wonder people ever will stop fighting with each other. Okay, all right. Now um so that that that's not the platform right there. That's an issue with grammar. So what are you missing there? Mm. So, so what are we missing there? So your answer is, I wonder people. Yes. Can, I can wonder, we use I wonder people? Ah, yes. yes. And is, I forget if. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. All right. Continue, guys. All right. Move on. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to the next one, Emer. The next one. Eric, you good here in this section? No, I, I so uh, number three in the first part is wrong for me. Number three, okay, let's go back then. I'm sorry, I thought that guys, all right, ask me, okay? All right, very good. So let's go. No, no, the previous section. No, I, I yeah, no, in the second, and uh, let's see, it's uh, in the B section, the section where, where we're uh, discussing part, first. Part two. The first part. Yes. Section B, part two. That's what. You, uh, could you please scroll down, Emer? Section B, first part. Yeah, that's one. The one is above uh, the number three. You mean first part? Okay, all right. I'm, I'm getting confused. Is it B part one or B part two? B part one. Okay, all right. So number three, you mean the one that says teenagers? Yes. That, okay. Is that the one you're talking about? All right. Very good. Yes. So that has multiple answers. What, what's your answer? Uh, unlike teenagers, comma like chatting on like online, my brother prefers books to the internet. All right. Now there is a mistake there, but that's not that's not from the platform. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Don't don't show the answer yet. Okay. So when you say unlike teenagers like chatting online, what does that mean? What, what is that? Remember that the idea has to make sense, guys. When you say unlike teenagers like chatting online, that doesn't make sense. 
Yeah. So that's like saying, all right, just put it this way, guys. That's like saying, a diferencia de los jóvenes, como gustan chatear online. So that, I mean, the structure doesn't make sense, right? So unlike teenagers, okay. coma, my brother, my brother prefers books to the internet. Or you can say, teenagers like chatting online. Unlike my brother who prefers books to the internet. All right, so you can use this answer if you want, Eric. Okay, good job. Okay, I'll, All right. I'll try. We good now, Eric? Yeah. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, continue. I'm sorry, Ima. Go ahead. Next part. Yes, yes, please. Uh, I think, do we have any questions here? Section C? Or are we good? Emer, Eric, Sandra, Morena, Claudia? We're good. We're good? No. I mean, I'm good, I hear. Okay, very good, right? Uh, let's move on to the next one. Very good, guys. Do we have questions here? No. No, no questions here? Eric, Morena, Claudia? Nope. No, it's fine. All right, no questions here? Very good. All right, guys, and the last one, all right? The last one was just, just, you know, the answer, just the answer. So do we have a question here? No? No. No. We're good. Very good, guys. Woo, good job, guys. Plus for you, you completed the mission, okay? Beautiful. Good, good, good job, guys, all right? Very good, guys. Um, so, guys, uh, if you need, you know, the answers, if you, for some reason, didn't finish, guys, Remember, guys, that the, the last day to finish the midterm was actually on Thursday last week, guys. Okay, if not, you're gonna have you're gonna have English, let's go for a, let's go for a team on top of you. Um, also, guys, remember this is a, I don't know, guys, if you're paying or not. I'm sorry if you're paying, but this is usually a scholarship, right? So let's finish the things on time, okay? All right. Very good, guys. So let's move on, guys, to the next topic. We're going to talk about per present conditional. Now, this is also known, guys, as second conditional. This is also known as what, guys? Second conditional. Oh, I'm, I'm not percent. Okay, very good. This is also known as second conditional, okay? Now, we use this, guys, for talking about unreal situations, okay? So what did we use it for? Unreal situations. Unreal situations, unreal situations or imaginary situations, okay? Something that is not real, okay? Now, this is usually used, guys, with an if clause, okay? However, guys, we can use, you know, some other particles, okay? Unless, even if, or only if, okay? Now, Emer, tell me, what do we use unless? Unless clauses include the exceptions that would change the speaker the speaker's decision very good okay so when you use unless guys okay this means that the basically guys th there is a condition okay when you say unless you're 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 giving a condition okay if you want to put it in simpler words guys there is a condition okay for example unless you know unless you're on time i will not help you with the exam okay so what is the condition? So you have to be on time so I can help with the exam, okay? All right, we're gonna go into more detail about it later, guys, okay? Now, only if, uh, Morena, help me read, only if. Only if closes stress the condition for the, re the result. Result, repeat, result. Result, result. Very good, okay. Only if closes stress the condition for the result, okay? All right. Only is, guys, it's also a condition, okay? All right, so I will help you with exam only if you come to class early, okay? All right, again, we're going to see this this into more detail. Uh, Claudia, even if, okay, what do we have for even if? Even if. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected result. Very good, okay, repeat. Even if clauses are followed... By unexpected results. Mm -hmm. Repeat. 
even if clouds are followed by unexpected uh, results. No, okay, all right. Hold on, hold on, guys. All right, guys, how do we pronounce this, guys? Follow. 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 All right, Follow. Gloria, you need, if you want to, to learn how to talk well, you need to study, you need to study this, okay? ED and things, okay? All right. This is not, you're saying follow with. That doesn't exist, okay? It's follow. follow. All right. So basically, follow. you don't pronounce that, okay? No. Follow. Okay. All right. Follow. All follow. right. And this is results, not re results or re I don't know what you were saying. I'm sorry, okay? All right. This, okay, this is kind of, this is pronounced like an all clauses, okay? Even if clauses, are followed by unexpected mm -hmm. results. All right, so one more time, Claudia. Even if clouds are followed by unexpected result. Okay, un, repeat un. This is like when you say un. Unexpected. 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 Very good, very good, okay, good job. Thank you, thank you very much, Claudia. All right, very good, guys. So when you don't expect, guys, a certain result, okay, then you use the even if clause, all right? All right, so let's take a look at the first one, guys, unless, all right, Sandra, would you please be so kind to help me read? Okay, I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. Very good, okay. All right, so, all right, so this situation, guys, what's going on in this situation? What's the idea behind this, the, this example? So let's talk about this, okay? All right. So I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. What are we talking about here? What do we understand? They are talking, talking about, about money in the bank. We're talking about money, okay. All right. Now, what might have happened? Okay, maybe, right? Maybe this person uh, found money, right? Maybe this person found money, right? Uh, I don't oh, think it's lost because it says I wouldn't <laughs> tell the bank. Oh, yeah. Unless it were, mm -hmm. you know, a large amount, right? So maybe this person found, ten dollars, you know, like $10, right? <laughs> okay, maybe this person found $10, okay? Now... Notice this, guys, okay? We are not starting the sentence with the, with the unless clause, okay? However, can I say, guys, can I say unless it were a large amount, I wouldn't tell the bank? Can I change positions? Can I say this, num this is number one and this is number two? Can I do that? Yes, I guess. Yes, yes I can. With okay. a comma, I think. Yes, I can. Yeah. Very good. Good job, good Amber. Okay, All right. So yes, guys, you can start with the uh, unless clause, right, right here, and then you can continue with this. The only difference, guys, is going to be that you will need a comma after it. Okay. What do you? What? What will you need, guys? A comma. You comma. will need a comma, a comma after it. Okay. All right. Very good. So maybe, maybe this person found ten dollars. Okay. Now. Let me ask you something. Is this happening, guys? I wouldn't tell the bank. Is this a situation that is really happening or is this an imaginary situation? That's the imaginary situation. All right, very good. Okay, it is an imaginary situation. All right, so it is still an imaginary situation, guys, okay? All right, very good, okay? Only if, all right? So when we talk about only if, guys, I would keep it a secret only if I liked my co-worker. Mm. All right. So let's take a look at the first and the second example. and Let's compare it, okay? So when I say unless, guys, is it a condition? Is it still a condition? It's yes or not? Condition. Yes. It is. It's a condition. Okay. It is. Okay. It is a condition, right? But it's a condition, guys, okay, depending if it happens, okay, if the circumstances, okay. It, the situation change. is like the opposite. Exactly. Like. So here, guys, okay, so when we talk about unless, okay, this is only if the circumstances change, okay. 
write it down, okay? So when we're using less, it's like if the circumstances, or you can say situation, right? Only if the situation changed. So here, guys, what is the situation that could change? Eric, what do you think? Uh, what what is the, what would be the situation that could change here? Um, so remember, we use, only... we use unless, right? To talk about this, yeah. to to actually to highlight the fact that the situation might change. So what's what situation in this sentence? Okay, take a look at the whole sentence. Okay. And what is the situation that could change? That I, if I tell the bank. If you told the bank, okay. All right, very good. What do you think, guys? The amount of money. Yeah. Very good, the amount of money, guys, okay. The situation here that might, might change, guys, according to this, is the amount of money because it says if it, Unless it were a large amount of money, okay? Now, Eric, for you to understand better, this means, no le diría al banco a menos que, right? This unless is a menos que. Got it? All right. Okay. And then it says, Got it. a menos que fuese una cantidad larga de dinero. So if I said that, all right, uh, even in Spanish, guys, what can change? Okay? Listen, so if I said, guys, I wouldn't tell the bank, that, can, that doesn't change, guys, okay? That is the situation that doesn't change, okay? The situation or the, con the condition for this to change, the thing that will change, okay, is if it is, an, uh, you know, a large amount of money, okay? All right? So what would happen? This, he would tell the bank, okay? Yes? Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, very good. Now, only if, okay? I'm sorry, Eric, do you have a question? No, no, no. All right, very good. All right. So I would keep it a secret only if I liked my coworker. All right. So what about this, guys? What can we infer from this? Only if. Is this a condition? Only if. Yes, guys, it is a condition because, guys, all conditionals, I mean, all present conditionals, guys, or all, like, first, second, third conditional, or if you want to call it, like, present, past, and future conditionals, all of them, guys, absolutely all of them are conditionals. That's why, you know, they, they're called conditionals, right? Because a condition needs to be achieved first, okay? All right? So when we say only if, guys, is it the same as saying unless? I would keep it a secret unless I like my coworker. Or only if means something else. Lo mantendría un secreto solo si me gustara mi 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 coworker, mi mi compañero, mi compañero. Exactly. All right. So what can we infer from this, guys? What what is what is the all right, uh, Sandra, what is the, what do we use only if for? What is the usage of only if? Only if? Mm -hmm. It's clauses that express conditions or uh, for the result. Because of the result, okay, very good, okay. All right, so if you take a look at this, guys, right? All right, only if clauses stress the condition for the result. So if there is this, if this result happen, guys, okay, the previous condition will be achieved. I will keep it a secret only if, right? So this person will not keep it a secret, guys. She will only keep it a secret or he will only keep it a secret if, you know, this condition is achieved, okay? So this result, guys, had, has to change in order for this to change, all right? In order for this part here, for the first clause to change, all right? And when we talk about even if, guys, now even if is very different, guys. These two are similar, okay? But even if, all right, even if, even if guys, means inclusive C, okay? So that means, guys, this is just, let's, let's put a nickname, okay? No matter what happens, okay? This is basically what it means, all right? Sin importar lo que pase, 
It's like only if it's like very close and even if it's like many no, only results. If, only if and unless or closer. Even if is basically no matter what, okay? All right, even if is saying, hey, it doesn't matter what happens, I will still do this, okay? So the result here, guys, doesn't change, okay? The result, when you use, even if, the result never changes, okay? So there's a big difference here. Even if I were really, really broke, I'd return the extra money to the bank. So let's, let's, let's take a look at it, okay? All right, so if I, so what happens, guys? What happens if I return, I mean, if, if it was like a bigger amount of money or if this person was, didn't have a cent, would he change this, guys? Would he not return it to the bank? Will the situation change or not? Yes or not? Lo retornaría al banco. So am I saying that the situation would change or the situation would keep the, being the same? What do you think? Being the same. The situation the would same keep situation. on being the same, right? Very good, guys. Good job, all right? Do we have any questions here, guys? Sandra, Emer, Eric, Morena, Claudia? We're good? Fine. It's clear with these exercises, uh, with these examples. All right. What do we we see others? All right. Yeah, we're gonna see others. Don't worry. Okay. In fact, you're gonna give me. I'm gonna leave you the structure here, guys. Okay. The structure. If you wanna take a screenshot, go ahead. Be my guest. All right. Be my guest if you want. Uh, do me a favor, guys. I need an example from each of you. In the chat right now, guys, I need everyone to send me an example with unless, with only if, and even if, okay? All right? And here, I'll leave you the structure. So let's go. So while we do that, I'm going to ask one of you, okay? So Sandra, give me one example with unless. Okay. Now, everybody, send me your examples right now, please. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't send the project unless we finished it. Unless we finished it? We finish it. Unless we finish it. Very good. Yeah. Good job. Plus for Sandra. All right. Very good, Sandra. That was that was perfect. Okay. Good, good, good job. Okay. Sandra, pick someone else. Oh, Eric. Eric. Okay, Eric, give me your example with... Only if uh, I would go to work only if I feel good. Only if I feel good. Good job. All right. Plus for Eric. Good job, Eric. Eric, what's your favorite color? Uh, Emer. <laughs> well, uh, blue. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, Morena, you have blue eyes. Okay. Give me your example, Morena, with even if. With even if. Yes. Well, I read the book even if I have it. Okay. I read a book like this. I read a book. Yeah. All right. Do me a favor, Rena. Take a look at the structure, okay? Here's the structure. All right, and now give me the answer again if you're so kind, please. So remember, we're gonna use unless, only if, or even if, plus simple past, right? Do you recall any sentence in simple past? Can you give me a sentence in simple past, Morena? All right, let's try this, Morena, okay? Uh, give me a sentence in simple past. Any sentence.
Sorry, teacher. I, I I'm really blocked in this moment. Okay. Um, what do you need help with? So let me give you an example, okay? Simple past. Do we remember simple past? I ate, I cooked, I swam. All right. Do you remember simple past now, Morena? Yeah. All right. Give me a sentence of simple read, past. I okay, read a book good. last year. So you, okay. So the structure goes, even if I read a book, okay? Even if I read a book, okay? And now you have to give me the rest of the structure. Go ahead. Remember past modal verbs, guys, are would or could, right? So even if I read a book, I... Um, I could... Uh-huh. Learn... More vocabulary. I couldn't learn. That should be couldn't, okay? Learn okay. more vocabulary. All right, now, Marina, what does this mean? Let, let's try to do it like this, Marina. Translate it. What, what does this mean in Spanish, Marina? So, I, I need you to understand this. So what does it mean? All right, very good. So, uh, thank you very much, Marina, okay? So these guys, why can I not say, all right, Emer, explain to me why can I not say I could learn more vocabulary? Because uh, the instructor says it, it should be a past model. No, no, I changed this to I couldn't instead of I could. Who wants to answer this question, guys? Because it, oh, I mean, because it's a condition, and if you are saying no to the condition, so the clause is going to change too. Okay. Now here, guys, the the reason why, guys, remember, guys, even if does not change the result, right? Now, you have to make sure, guys, that you understand, okay? You need to understand what you're saying, okay? Under the structure was good, Warren, okay? Understand what you are saying, okay? The reason why, guys, check this out. If you translated this, guys, it would be, incluso si yo leyera un libro, yo aprendería más vocabulario. Now, let me ask you something. Does that make sense? Si yo te digo, incluso si leyera un libro, yo aprendería más vocabulario, ¿tiene sentido? No, right? Because even <laughs> if he's saying it's a contrast, right? It's a contrast situation, yeah. right? So when you say even if, okay, in this situation, think about contrast, okay? The second part has to contrast the first part, okay? Now, would it be okay if I said, Incluso si leyera un libro, no aprendería más vocabulario. Right? Remember, guys, this expression, guys, this clause right here, it's talking about surprise, right? All right? Está hablando de una sorpresa. ¿Y cuál es la sorpresa, guys? Si yo leyera un libro, que ni aún así entendería nada, right? Que ni aún así eh, agarraría vocabulario. Got it? Got it. So this is for surprises, guys. Okay? What is this for, guys? What are we using it for? Surprises. For surprises. Okay, very good, guys. Good, good, good job. All right. Very good. So let's see what examples have you sent me. Oh, guys. I ho I only see Eric with their example, guys. What happened to Morena, Claudia, Sandra, Emer, Eric? I, I already uh, stand. Uh, Emer, I, I need three, right? Very good. Marina, uh, Claudia, what happened to you with your, with your examples? I have an example uh, for unless. Okay, very good. Unless, okay, very good. I need you, I need you to send me examples with all three of them. Okay. 
I, I have an example. Uh, I, I, I couldn't go to the supermarket. Okay, I wouldn't unless go to the market. Okay. I wouldn't go to the supermarket unless my daughters ask me. Unless my daughters ask me. Good job, all right? Thank you very much. Applause for Claudia. Good job, Claudia. Mm -hmm. That was really good, okay? Give me an example with only. Guys, I need everybody to send me their examples right now, okay? All right, give me another example, Claudia, please, with only if. If. The first one was perfect. Um, No, okay. Um, no, 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 not yet, teacher. Not yet. Excuse me. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. All right, let's uh Sandra, give me one example with only if, please. I was doing that. Oh, okay. Only if I worked out, I I wouldn't lift a big amount of weight. I wouldn't lift. Uh, a big amount a big of weight. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't live. Okay, a uh, big amount of weight. Okay. All right, so only if I worked out, I wouldn't live. Now, we're getting confused here with only if. Okay, you're using this as all, even if. Okay, even if you said this, mm -hmm. even if, this would be good. Okay. Okay. Even if I worked out, I wouldn't be able to lift you know, a big amount of weight, okay? Now that would be good, okay? Only if means solo C, okay? Okay. All right. So what you're saying here, all right, this is contra contrasting. This is the other way around. This shouldn't be contrasting the first clause, okay? Because it says here, solo si, si, si hiciera ejercicio, no podría levantar bastante peso. Only okay. if I went to the gym. <laughs> okay, only if I went to the gym. I would be fit. Um, very good, okay. I would be fit. Good job, okay. All right, very good, very good, okay. Uh, Imer, give me another example with only if. Only if. Uh, I will drink tequila only if they gave me. Very one. good. <laughs> I will or I would? <laughs> one thousand dollars i would okay i would drink tequila only if, <laughs> if they, they gave me a thousand dollars very good <laughs> good job man good job good job i like that example okay very good all right claudia uh do we have an example with only if now is it is it better now yes teacher all right yeah, for let's... example uh, with only if yes uh, I could could this night only if I had energy. I would cook tonight. I would cook only if I had energy. I I... Good job. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. You're getting the hang of it. Eric, give me one example with only if, please. Good job, Claudia. With? Uh, with. An example with. All right, Eric, Eric. No, I said good uh, job, I... Claudia. Good job. All right, good job. Well oh, okay. All right, Eric, uh, one example with only if, please. Uh, I would uh, I would get the new course only if I only if I get a good grade. Okay, I would get the new course the new course only what? Only if I get a uh, a good grade. All right, now do me a favor, Eric. Only if I get. Only All right. if I get. What tense is that? Only if I get. Present. All right, and what tense are we supposed to use? Uh, past, simple, only if I get, okay. Very good, okay, only if I got, okay. Simple, past. Only if I got, 
What? Only if I got good grades. Okay, give me another example, Eric. Only if I got a good grade. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would go to the doctor only if I felt uh, sick. Very good. All right, you got it. Okay, I think you got it. Good job. Plus for Eric. Plus for everyone, guys. Good job. All right. All right, guys, last one, okay? Give me one example. Uh, Sandra, give me an example with, even if, this one should be even, easy, guys. Yeah. Even if. Even if I travel to France, I wouldn't speak French. If I travel to France, mm -hmm. all right, I wouldn't speak French, right? Remember, guys, mm -hmm. this is a surprise, right? Right? The fact that she travels to France means that she might be able to learn French, but surprise, surprise, she didn't, right? <laughs> All right. Very good. Eric, give me another one. Um, even if my, even if my girlfriend loved me, love I me. wouldn't, even if my girlfriend, uh, Love <laughs> present or past? Love me, uh, past. Okay, Even how do you pronounce? My girlfriend love loved me. Loved me. Okay. Even if my girlfriend loved, loved me. me uh -huh. Even if my girlfriend loved me. Uh huh. I wouldn't love her. I wouldn't love her. I wouldn't love her. <laughs> what? Why? I think. Do you have a girlfriend or are you married? <laughs> no, I'm married. <laughs> okay, don't tell your, your wife about your girlfriend, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Claudia, give me another one, Claudia, with even if. I'm kidding. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. I right. think. I think. Even uh, if. Okay, even if. I don't okay. have energy. Even if. I don't have energy. Uh -huh. I will finish the platform. I will or I would. Now, hold on, all right, Claudia, there is something wrong here. You could say, this would be correct. I will finish the platform, okay? Now, this is correct, guys. Mm -hmm. However, okay. this is not a present conditional or a second conditional. This is a, is, this is a future conditional or what we call it a first conditional. This is correct, but this is not a real situation. This is a possible situation uh, okay. in the future. The situation right. is even even if I have energy, no, uh, uh, we're missing something I very wouldn't... important here. We're missing something very important here. Remember, in order for it to be a, an unreal situation or, or an imaginary situation, we need it to be in what tense, guys? Past. In the past, okay. So let's try it one more time, Claudia. In. Mm. The verb has to be in the past. It, no? um, I mean, if I, I had. Okay, even if I had, you can say even if I had, yes. If I had um, energy. Energy, very good. Even if I had energy. I, I could then. I wouldn't. I couldn't um, finish. Uh, finish my 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 task. My what? My task. My task. My task. My task. My task. My, okay, I wouldn't finish my task. Okay, very good. My you, my tasks. I mean, okay, very good. Okay, good job. Plus for Claudia, guys. All right, okay, guys. All right, clear, clear, guys, from 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 tequila to Coca Cola. How clear is it? Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> wow. All right, very good. Hey, what happened to Morena, guys? It's clear. From tequila to, to, to Coca Cola. Uh, let's say. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, all right. I think I, I honestly, guys, um, 
from my evaluation, from my point of view, you understood this, okay? So let's take some time, guys, okay? We're going to do some exercises right now. Uh, let's make two groups, guys. And let's work on this for the last five minutes, okay? Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Oh, I, I will send the screenshot, guys, if you didn't take the screenshot. I'm sorry. Please. Good evening. Good evening. Hey guys. Hello good there. Evening. All right, now now notice something, guys. Yeah, these I'm exercises, good. these yep. exercises are present conditional, but they are not using the expressions that we used before. They're not using only if or even if. These are like easier, okay? This is just if. All right, the clause if. Got it? But it I is the same so. structure. Yeah. It is the same structure, okay? Okay. All right. Girls, if, uh, just just why? heads up. Uh, these exercises that I sent you are not mm -hmm. using the expressions only if, unless, or even if. Okay. But it is present mm -hmm. conditional. Okay. okay. It's a present conditional, all right? It's easier because this is only like a regular present conditional, right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Where's my eraser? It is just if I were you, I would get a, a new job. Okay. Is he is he is he is younger? But is the verb must be in simple past. If it? it's is he mm -hmm. no 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 if he si el fuera is yeah if he eh, eh, what can I say si fuera yes use the verb in the blank it's the verb B. Just change it. It's the past. verb B. In simple, in simple present. Past. If he is. If he was. If he is. Ah, if he was. If I were you. If I were you. I will get a new job. If Let's I were it. you. I would get. If I, I were you, I would get a new job. Mm -hmm. And the second one, if, if he, he uh, were younger, if, if he, he was younger, if, if he if was he, younger, uh -huh. if he was younger, he would travel more. He would travel more. If if we if if we if are not we uh, were not if we weren't if we if we aren't aren't or were we're not friends if we if we if we're, we were not friends uh -huh. i would be angry with you i would be angry uh -huh. all right guys how are oh my god all right how are you feeling guys that. How do you feel it? Uh, sleep. Uh, <laughs> no, 
know, how, how do you feel the exam? Huh? The, the uh, I don't know if there is a trick or something, but uh, this is, is this second condition? Yeah. Present okay. conditional and second conditional are the same thing. Okay. I, I'm not sure the second one if is if he were younger because sometimes in the second conditional you say where where is ah good uh, question well, there is a, there is a trick <laughs> a, a trick there yes, yes. I don't I and I don't like that <laughs> okay answer them all and then I'll give you the okay. answer for that okay all right answer them all and then I'll give you the answer the next could be is she uh, she Mm -hmm. Is she wasn't mm -hmm. always so late? Mm -hmm. She could she could be promoted. She would be promoted. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me let okay. me. Is she wasn't mm -hmm. always so late. All right, guys. Hello there. Hello there. All right, guys. Um, I'll finish it home, guys, okay, because we have to leave now. All right, and I, I think I see that no, not everybody has finished. Now, uh, Emer asked me a very good question, guys. Uh, what was it, number one or two? What was it? Number two. Number two. We, okay, uh, if, if you where man the, the second this is the seventh oh but this is you mean this one? Oh, no, oh, oh never mind okay number two never yeah hold on guys my bad or the number 10 is yeah we're gonna continue seven. with more of these tomorrow guys that's why you see a lot of things here right anyways number two okay if he, right, in the verb be. Now, what is the past tense of the verb be? Uh, if we use he, guys, if we use a third person. Was. <laughs> if he was, right? However, guys, when you talk about imaginary situations, the mm -hmm. verb will always be where, okay? Got it? So in this case, you have to say if he were. If we were younger, he would travel more. Got it? Got it. Got it. All right, because it is an imaginary situation. Now, what about this? What if it is not an imaginary situation? What 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 if I said if I were rude, I am sorry, or if I was Rude, I am sorry. What, what would it be, guys? Second one, if I was the second rude. one, okay. If the second the one, second because one. this is not a, an imaginary situation. Does this mean does this mean that this happened, guys? All right, it is a possible situation, right? It is not, I'm not imagining that, okay. That's why I'm asking you know for forgiveness, right? That's why I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm apologizing, right? So that's the reason why, guys, okay. All right, guys. So, guys, if you have not finished the midterm, please do so immediately, guys, because that is really important. Remember, uh, finishing the class. Number one. Thank you, Imer. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Claudia. Glad to see you here. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock, okay? Bye. You, bye, -bye. Guys. Take care, guys. Bye. Take care. Take care. Hi, right, finish the exercise, okay? Yeah. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Okay.